Tonight, we've learned what was in the storage building that burned in Roger Williams Park. The fire was breaking yesterday at 5. Also new tonight, we're hearing from the worker who spotted the fire and got everyone out of this building. Iowa News News reporter Madeline Wright has the new details from the mobile newsroom. The Parks Department superintendent is hailing one of her employees a hero for running into this maintenance facility and getting everyone who was inside away from the fire. The fire at Roger Williams Park sent seven firefighters to the hospital with minor injuries. But everyone who was inside the facility when the flames began made it out safely, thanks in part to David Doty. The Parks Department employee was a short distance away Monday afternoon when he saw the flames and ran to the second floor of the carriage house where three office workers were inside. When I opened the door, there was, uh, there was smoke. They didn't know what was going on uh, and just told them to get out. Got them out of there. The carriage house was damaged in the fire, but the storage shed attached to it was destroyed, along with all the lawnmowers, snowblowers, and other tools inside. The two employees in the shed saw the fire and escaped on their own. As for the folks in the carriage house, they ran when they realized the danger. Did you realize the building was on fire? Uh, I did not. I was at my office doing some work, and he came running in. Joseph Wetnowski says Doty didn't think twice about putting his safety at risk to help others. Do you feel he saved your life? Yes, it, it, uh, the fire was moving quite quickly. Uh, the smoke was already coming in the door. But Doty is humble about his actions. Do you consider yourself a hero? Uh, no, <laughs> I just did what I had to do. Arson investigators were back on scene Tuesday. They say they don't know what started the fire, but a city spokesperson says it doesn't appear to be suspicious. The city is working with its insurance company to assess the damage and the cost of repairs. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.